Only on 13, the transgender woman accused of violently killing a stranger in Southeast Houston tells ABC 13 she has no regrets about what she did. So video of this crime received national attention because of its brutality. Police say it shows Corone Fisher running over a man before she then stabbed him multiple times. Today, Fisher told ABC 13's Brooke Taylor this was all completely random. Now, Brooke, the question all of us, I'm sure including the victim's family, want to to know is why. Well, Corone Fisher told me that this was a completely random attack. She had no idea who this victim was. I asked her if she saw our report. She saw this disturbing video. She said she did. And really what was so chilling for me when I spoke to her face to face was how calm she was. She said she had zero regrets and just no remorse. There were no cameras or phones during this jailhouse interview. No paper, pen, nothing. It was just Corone Fisher and I separated by glass and we spoke through a phone again. She identifies as transgender. She was wearing a wig pulled back like you saw in that court video earlier in the video. Officials say she was seen brutally running over that man. She reverses, hits him again. She then returns, jumps over his body and kisses him before repeatedly stabbing him in front of witnesses and in broad daylight. Fisher acknowledged a history of mental health with me. She said she came out as transgender at 16 years old and became a prostitute. She said God saved me that day many times, and that really was her main message. But I can't reiterate enough how she said over and over, I gave her many chances to say whether she had any regrets to talk to me and acknowledge how horrifying that video is that we keep replaying. And again, just nothing from her. Almost makes it a little bit more disturbing there, Brooke. Now, I know you talked to the victim's family after that interview today. What's their reaction to all of this? I did, Eric. You know, we wanted to reach out to Stephen Anderson's family. At the end of the day, he is the victim here, and so is his family in this just disturbing, brutal attack. He's 65 years old. His family wanted to remain anonymous and, you know, protect their safety. So she's, they shared these photos of us with Stephen Anderson. These are new pictures of him. He leaves behind a daughter and three grandchildren. He was retired after working as a manager for MD Anderson for more than 20 years. But his daughter told, tells me that he was still doing volunteer work. His family says that really it's just scary. That was the word they used when I asked about their reaction to her lack of remorse. They say this could have been anyone, anyone's father, grandfather and child. So the whole community, they said, should really be rallying for justice. And his daughter just wants to see Fisher locked away. She wants people to remember her father as thoughtful, generous and the sentimental man that he was. Was. Meanwhile, Fisher is bond is set at a combined $900,000, including that murder charge. When I spoke to her about this, she says she can't afford bond. She says acknowledges that that's where she's going to be. And she says she accepts the consequences that come along with those actions, Eric.